We are back once again with our Pink Pig sketchbook and all the past illustrations that we've done. Today we're just going to do a single page with the Draw With Me because the watercolours last week kind of messed up this page a bit and it's, it, I don't think the ink I'm going to use today will work. So yeah, if you do want to see those other videos, they'll be up in the corner here for your enjoyment. And we are going to be shaking up our jar of words once again. Now then, which one? Oh, I can't reach it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see what we have. Let's see, we have eyes. Now, I really love eyes aesthetically. They're very, very uh, cute to draw. Uh, and also they are the window to the soul, so yeah, take that how you, how you please. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have our beautiful ink. And our little... Let's see what we can do with the theme of eyes. I'm not going to be using any pencils, so let's just see how things go from here. Listening to that on paper is just very pleasing. Maybe it's like art MSMR. Should I try making something like that? So many eyes constantly watching you. It's actually really weird. I don't particularly like people staring at me or being watched or observed very much but I do enjoy eyeballs. Um, Cyclops, especially the Cyclops from uh, Dragon's Dogma was one of my favourite monsters uh, and I think it's just because they had this one giant eye. There we go. This is just going to be a page of eyes, who knows. Let me know what uh, you draw as well. If you're drawing with me. There we go. Now what do I do? I did not think this through. Did not think this through at all. Let's let's start by let's let's give them some legs. Eyeballs can have legs. Yeah. Larry the eyeball with legs. Maybe some arms. Yes, his name is Larry. Larry. Let's see. Let's make a fish. Oh, that's pretty cute if I do say so myself. Do I just make an entire creation of eyeballs? that are like people and animals, that would be really cool. Okay, not too bad. Oh yes, because the end of the month is on a Saturday, a, a Sunday, and it also happens to be Halloween, I will be doing a special Halloween themed come draw with me. Um, okay, give it. Yes, eyeball cat with wings. Um, I will be giving, yeah, I will be doing a, a special come draw with me Halloween themed. Uh, I was thinking of doing like a live and like getting people to like ask me to draw like uh, Halloween themed stuff like monsters or uh, stories. Uh, so I'm not sure if, if that's a thing, let me know. Um, if not, I'll just do, there we go, the every week one but with more Halloween themed. Also keep an eye on my Instagram as I am doing a few different uh, challenges. Um, like I, There are so many good prompts li prompt lists this year uh, from like Spooktober to Inktober, Monstertober. Uh, so yeah I'm going to be doing like one or two of each of those uh, as well as uh, I'm been working on a few comics. Uh, they won't be coming out for a while, but I will be posting stuff like concept art 
Uh, and if you can't find, if, if Instagram decides to go down again, uh, you can find me on uh, TikTok and Twitter. I'm also on ArtStation uh, and obviously YouTube. Um, there is also my website uh, I have. I am in the process of updating it with all of the new art I have been doing lately. So much to do. So much updating. That's the only problem when you you draw so much you improve really quickly. But that means that all the current work you've got you know, isn't really up to stuff anymore. I don't know what this is now, an eyeball snake, maybe? That could work. <laughs> looking oh I'm really happy with this the giant eyes actually kind of remind me of night in the woods the the, the game uh, I, I've seen a few people play it but I've never really watched it all the way through and I decided to get it for myself and my goodness has it been like an eye-opener for my own mental um, my own mental brain goo I guess is the best way to put it Oh my god, it just, oh, it really hits place to home and I don't know what to do about it. I was not prepared for these feelings, nor was I prepared for the thoughts that would rattle my brain. Um, yeah, rattle my brain and thoughts that would now keep me up at night because I've been playing said game. <sighs> but oh well, <laughs> uh, we'll work through it. Um, a lot of, yeah, I... Working through stuff is hard, especially if it's self-doubt or imposter syndrome or just not knowing what you want to do. Uh, and that's been happening quite a bit lately uh, for me. Uh, mainly with the fact that obviously there was a pandemic. So right after I graduated, literally, no, even before I graduated, like the end of my course, uh, my master's degree, and then... Uh, <sighs> And then the COVID hit and everything just kind of shut down and all the opportunities and all the connections I made to kind of, you know, get a job, whether it be uh, in an illustration magazine or drawing comics, um, it, would have been, it would have been amazing to do anything like that. Uh, they all kind of just popped in and went away and I haven't been able to get anything back. Um, it was a real shame as well because uh, halfway through COVID, um, I was actually I, I was like practicing my storyboards because you know I I thought it would it was fun it would help me get better at doing storytelling through my illustrations and it definitely has uh, and a guy got f asked me to um, to do some work for him uh, storyboarding uh, and I was like oh yeah sure sure I mean I wasn't obviously. You know, the the greatest at it yet, but um, you know, with the dedication and all that, you know, I could make it work. And then he got sick and tired of COVID, so yeah, I was informed by his team, and they just decided to cancel the project. So I'm not sure if it happened at a good or a bad time because, like, um. Yeah, so that was a thing, and I'm just kind of thinking, oh no, not only has someone, you know, died, obviously a few members of my distant family, who I only really know the names of, passed away due to it, but, you know, now, like, like people I'm getting in contact with, like, they've, it's, it's a hard thing, and it constantly makes you feel like, um, like you don't know what's gonna happen you get scared of like um, like will you be able to continue doing what you love or will you have to keep like up a job at a, like a 
like a like a restaurant or or um, a bakery or something um, to make ends meet while you constantly improve your portfolio and just try to like art is art is a this is something I wish I'd known um, in my younger years, which wasn't really taught in uni, which I was kind of annoyed with, but maybe maybe because of my dyslexia, I just didn't realise it. Uh, it could be that. I don't know. But um, art is about skill, yes. It's about ideas and creativity, yes. But it's also about connections and networking. And they don't really teach you that. They don't teach you how to network. I was never taught how to properly do like a, an email, um, or at least not from what I can remember, uh, of like what to do when a client asks you uh, stuff or when people like come into contact with you for certain stuff. Maybe it's something everyone just automatically knows and my poor dyslexic brain can't keep up. Who knows? I certainly don't. My hand is going really numb using this pen. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's um, a lot goes on, and I don't even know why I started this tangent. That's tangent now. I can't quite remember. Uh, God, this is getting deep. Why are all these videos getting so deep? These legs are not looking good. There we go. Make us a, a, a spider eye. Very nice. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've really brought the mood down by there now. But uh, I definitely recommend, if you want to do art, uh, just communicate with our artists. Uh, make connections, make friends. I, I've been doing that a lot lately and it's been really nice. Uh, uh, like I recently went to the Artbox Expo and I also made a comic about the, the Artbox Expo. It is up on my Instagram if you would like to see it. Um, maybe I'll post it on Twitter too. It depends if Twitter will let me. It's quite limited on its photos sadly. Um, but yeah, it's it was amazing, and I learned so much, and it was it was wonderful just being around other artists, talking and drawing and learning so much. It was definitely um, definitely uh, I've never been the most social of people. Uh, I probably contribute that to my upbringing of having not the nicest of siblings that obviously you know just makes you think if you trust people people will hurt you you know that sort of thing that's the mindset I grew up with as a child and as an adult I realize now you know that that's not 100 percent true you do have to be careful yes but you know you can't constantly be alone uh I don't know what that is now is he just a it's just an eyeball with with tentacle jelly 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 eyeball jelly eyeball that's what he is he's got his little tentacles he's a jelly eyeball there we go so yeah um let's go let's move the topic on to something else because i i am getting a little a little dizzy with how deep I'm going into this. Stopped for a quick tea break. <sighs> and now we're back. I can't remember what I was talking about previously, but let's finish with the drawing. The ink is now dry, so I can finally move to the eyeballs over here. Let's see, we want... really liking all these cute little designs. Whenever I try to sit down and do something like this, 
I always have such a hard time and constantly question myself whether or not I, you know, could it be better? Could it be worse? Should I have done this earlier? You know, it's weird stuff where you just like, brain, shut up and just let me draw. But it doesn't. Does your brain ever get like that? It's annoying. I personally find it very annoying when my brain does not shut up and cannot leave me, leave me to just have a fun time. Let's make some snazzy looking eyeballs. Then I also have so many ideas that I get from my brain. Like I have got about seven different comic ideas I want to do. Um, and maybe like four of them could be turned into storyboards instead and animatics to save me time but obviously because of how long they are they're like episodes that go on in my head with all these original worlds and characters and for some reason there are easter eggs to my favourite games it, if it didn't give me such a headache sometimes I would probably just constantly be in my own brain instead of watching TV shows um, cause, and playing games, because I really, really like uh, watching TV shows and games. As I said earlier with Night in the Woods, it's, oh my god, I'm loving it, but my god, does it hurt my brain and make me question stuff. But I'm absolutely loving the game and the characters and the art style alone. Oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> but also, like, you have TV shows, well, some of them are really good. Uh, but then, like, there's a, there's like one thing that just makes you kind of, kind of go ugh about, or it can ruin the whole series for you. Um, why is my pen not working now? There we go. Uh, like I was rewatching a couple of shows from my past, um, mainly Magical Girl animes. I really liked those as a kid. I think I talked about it a bit in my last video, about how I liked the fact that um, even though it was really girly, um, they like had the, the girls fighting and stuff and it was really action orientated, which made me think, oh, okay, cool. This is more like a, a, a magical fairy eyeball, I think, this one. So you could have like cuteness and combat. There we go. Ta-da! Beautiful. And that's what I really liked about it. I think as a kid, and even sometimes as an adult, when it comes to shows like that, I still don't really understand the whole romancy part of it, but I think that's just because I'm not a very romantic person. I can fake it. I've definitely faked it, but... Sometimes it just doesn't seem like it's necessary. Maybe people won't like me saying that, but hey, I'm allowed my opinion. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe it's to do with that. I still liked the shows overall, though. And there were some characters I just really wanted more, to have more screen time. There we go. Behold the cuteness that is my eyeball army. I don't know what else to do. Donut snake with various wings. A cat, a fish. We need more fish. Maybe a spider. Tentacles. Hmm. 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 Difficult decisions. We have here. I'm gonna do. There we go make these look look magical and cute. It's kind of reminded me of a Sailor Moon hairstyle. Now that I think about it. And I'm running out of room to do the wings. No. Did not think this through, but oh well.
There we go, there we go, there we go. Just adding the eye really brings it all together. I hope the camera... Oh, damn it! I just put my ink in my teacup! Why did I do that? No. Ah, shit. Okay, tea, you go over there. There's only one drop. I could probably still drink it. I don't know. It's a waste of tea. Ugh. Don't do what I did. Don't put ink in your tea. It's, it's not going to be good for you. Oh, dear. Give this some some lusciousy legs. This one. This video has probably been a bit all over the place, and that's probably because I've got so many projects going on. I've had to do this this in two parts rather than just one big drawing like usual. I've definitely enjoyed it though. It's been easier to kind of get through. I don't feel as tired, which is nice. Give it a little tail. Maybe I should do this from now on, where it's like I have an object, like an eyeball, and I try to turn that object into little creatures. I think that would be a really cool idea. Maybe I can do that as like another sketchbook thing, or maybe I can continue to do that for this, because I don't want to keep getting a bit too deep with some of these. I mean, it's probably... I don't know if it's, if it's a good thing to get deep or not. Some people aren't always there for that. Some people come to places like YouTube to get away from that. I'm definitely one of those people sometimes. So I guess it's like a hit and miss. Depending, maybe. There we go. I think it's got fireworks in its eyes. Very cool. I hope the, the microphone's picking up this sound because it's just like arty MSMR. Not sure if that's still a thing, MSMR, is it? I never really was into it, but this sound is, is very nice. I'm losing the, f the feeling in my fingers. There we go. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today. There we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a bit all over the place with the uh, talking. I don't really script these or anything. Uh, so, oh wait, I can't drink that. Well, I don't. Do you guys see any ink? I don't. Is it safe to drink? I shouldn't risk it just in case. Oh, that's a shame. I have to go make a new cup of tea now. Anyway, uh, sorry it's been a bit all over the place. Or maybe you enjoyed that. If so, let me know. Uh, and if you drew along with me, uh, also let me know. Say hi to Larry, the eyeball with legs. He is no longer the only eyeball with legs. Isn't that wonderful? Um, yeah, and I will 
see you guys next week and also stay tuned for the Halloween themed one on the 30th of uh, this month that I'm going to do. It's going to be all nice and Halloween themed. Uh, I'm still unsure whether I should do a, a live draw with me and get people to ask me to draw stuff or not. Uh, maybe that would work better on Twitch? I don't know. Either way, you can find all my social media in the description down below and stay drawing and have a great day.